Hello everyone, and welcome to another video from the WoW Noob channel. So, this is the Battered Hilt questline. Uh, this video, has, it's a little bit overdue, but I had footage for a long time, but... I just... I didn't really feel like doing a, sort of a, a quest walkthrough. I think they're pretty boring, and so I just kept putting it off, and I rather talk about some of the cool aspects of the quest, or the quest chain. But, so you start in, uh, I bought it off the auction house, the Barrett Hilt, paid 12,000 gold for it. Now, I don't, I don't mind spending 10 or 12,000 gold on something, if it's to, um, if it's bought from, from a vendor, but Paying 12,000 gold for an item, and those 12,000 gold going to another player, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of that, I must admit. Now I know it's, it's, it's part of the, uh, it's part of the economy of the game and so on, and we need it to, to keep the economy flowing in game, but one thing is selling some cloth or some enchant stuff, materials and stuff like that, and making a, a couple of hundred gold maybe, but selling one item that has maybe been ninja'd and, and so on, and selling that for 12,000 gold. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of that, I must admit. Maybe it's just my, my nature of being don't like him to spend money. I'm not sure. Maybe it's jealousy because I didn't. I didn't find it. I think, although if if I have found it at that point, I would have probably done the quest chain myself. But um, there is a couple of aspects of this video that I think, or this uh, quest chain that I really, really like. First of all, at one point you go in as an alliance player, and I'm thinking it's probably the same for the Horde. But basically, you take a quick visit, disguised as a Horde, and you can see their area in Dalaran. And that's pretty cool, because I don't have, I do have a couple of Horde alts, but none even close to 80, or even close to getting to, getting to Dalaran. So I've never seen that area, and so it's pretty cool to go in and 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 check a little bit out just see how it looks in there and um, I did actually capture some footage while doing this but I ended up cutting it out because I had to cram a lot of footage in here so um, so it didn't make the final cut but I thought that was pretty fun it's also pretty cool that you meet at one point you meet Blood Queen Lanathel from Ice Crown Citadel, she has uh, she has uh, some history with uh, with the sword of Quel'Thalas, and so uh, she tells about it, and that's pretty that's pretty cool. And uh, I wish if I, I wish I had known that there would be uh, some uh, some parts of the quest where there would be some cool sounds and, and, and stuff because then I would have recorded everything with sound. It's actually it's this part right now where you, uh, the Blood Queen tells about her experience and how she took it when it was destroyed and taken back to... Well, sorry, it wasn't destroyed at that point, but she took it back to uh, to Northrend and so on. And there's some cool uh, dialogue here, and it, had I known this before, I would have recorded with sound and put it in because it's 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 quite an experience and a pretty pretty amazing quest chain to do so um, if you do have the the chance if you find it or whatever I, I suggest you do it and make sure you got sound on because it's it's a pretty cool experience there's also one thing that I think I really really love about this quest chain and that is in, in the end of the quest chain. You have a few quests that you're doing on the Isle of Quadalos. And you're actually going inside 
the um, the raid up there. I can't remember off the top of my head. It's not Magistrate's Terrors, that's the five man. Sunwell, that's the one. And I thought, uh oh, am I gonna have to try and pug a Sunwell raid? They usually go crap. And I was a little bit scared that I would have to to work a lot and have to try and 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 put up rays and so on. But it ended up I, it didn't it wasn't a problem because you could go in and the sun went ha, sun well has been restored and everything and you would see it like it looks after after everything has been restored. You know the guys that have taken over the sun well and destroyed it and so on. They have been killed off and now it's been rebuilt. And that's what I thought was really, really cool because I didn't notice in the start. I mean, usually when you go to take the transport from, from Shatrath, you immediately end up in a battle zone. You start up at this tower and, and, and you got a lot of guys flying around shooting after you and, and you got some other guys that are shooting after them and it's pretty hectic. And I, I didn't notice it at the beginning, but then I suddenly figured out because I thought, okay, my hearthstone was on, on cooldown, so I might as well do a, a daily or two to grab a little bit of reputation and a little bit of gold. But I couldn't do anything. Well, I could take the quests, but I couldn't finish them because there were no mobs. I thought, what? And I checked around the area and basically found out that when you're doing this quest chain, you are seeing the Isle of Qualdalas after all those bad guys have been removed. And, and I thought that was really, really interesting because we've never seen that before, at least not to my knowledge. I mean, okay, my guild uh, nubishly got killed there. <laughs> I tried to... I didn't know how, how it worked and I tried to go in and, and solo it, I got killed, but then I just grabbed the pug and, and, and did it on heroic mode. Of course, I forgot to take footage of that, but that happens. But anyways, back to to uh, the Isle of Qual the Lost. We suddenly, I mean, if you take the, the lore, even though I personally and our guild haven't killed the Lich King at this point, Basically, lore-wise, the Lich King is dead. The Scourge has been defeated. There is peace in in Azeroth and Northern. But, of course, they can't just remove everything and say, okay, when you've done these quests and you have stopped all those different aspects of what's happening, for example, you have those with the quarry up there, and, and, and you're basically stopping what they're doing there, you're stopping them from creating more more uh, scourge and so on and so forth but of course they can't just stop and remove that from the game because then when you finally get Lich King down what are you supposed to do so of course to keep the game alive you keep going and and that's good of course but I would love if you were able to let's say you get the Lich King down and we all know I mean if you haven't gotten the Lich if you haven't taken the Lich King down uh, you don't know what happens, but basically, well, I don't want to spoil it for you. If you're if you don't have if you don't know what's happening when you get a Lich King down, I'll put a link in the video notes at the bottom to a video where you can see what happens when you kill the Lich King. But it w it could be cool if you would get a two-hour buff, for example where you could fly around in Northrend and see this is what Northrend looks like after the Lich King is gone. That could be so very interesting to see. Okay, this is how it looks after everything has been restored, after the Scourge has been removed and we're once again at peace. That could be really, really interesting. And I would love if, if Blizzard would do more like this. I'm not sure how interested they are in doing stuff like that, but I definitely think it would be interesting. But uh, anyway, that's my take on it. 
Um, I hope you have uh, enjoyed this video and just me rambling on. And um, join my uh, YouTube. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And join my Facebook if you're on Facebook. You'll have a link to it in uh, the show notes. And so um, see you next time. Bye.